personal. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so I wanted to speak about this particular fighter because for, for one, I, I, I genuinely believe, and it's not even a belief, it's, it's just a fact. This, this young fighter right here has been a very consistent fighter. He's been picking up good wins, having a lot of uh, solid performances against real opposition. You know, we always talk about unboxing. We always bitch and moan about the fighters who get hype that aren't fighting nobody. But then when you got a guy who is fighting live bodies, you know, guys coming to win and performing well, answering the call. You know, oftentimes I don't see boxing fans or channels, and I'm even talking about myself. Be quick to give those fighters their praise, their just do, their spotlight. So that's what this video is right here. I, I, I wanted to speak about, you know, super, super featherweight contender in North Las Vegas, Nevada's very own Andres Cortez. Yes, that Andres Cortez. 20-0, 11 knockouts. He's a, a super featherweight contender. And um, listen, I've been told by some reliable sources that he is uh, a regular viewer here of True School Sports, or that he's watched the channel or he's aware of me. So shout out to him. Hopefully he watches this video because it is about him. I wanted to talk to you guys about him because, you know, he, I recently had a chance to watch him fight again. Um, recently, this uh, about a week and a half ago, he fought on the Snisa Estrada undercard and um, he took on a really good fighter in Xavier Martinez and he, he dominated him. I mean, it was a straight, uh, maybe not domination, but he was winning. You know, he has a way about him where when he wins rounds, he wins them clearly. He overwhelms you. And uh, Cortez... Just speaking about him, um, real good fighter. You know, I, I, I like him a lot. I, I, I think there's a lot to like with him. First, first of all, in his career, what we've seen from Andres Cortez is we've seen uh, him get tested. You know, when he fought uh, Alejandro Salinas during the COVID, during in the bubble. You know, he, he was dropping that fight. He got dropped in that fight, uh, and he got up and and he found a way to, to to win. And and you know, you look at just his his fighting style. Um, you know, he likes to operate out the high guard, but throws real tight, straight, grown man, professional punches, you know, uh, down the middle. Um, good work rate. You know, he's not a guy that I really see get tired. Um, we've seen, we've seen Cortez before stop guys with a one punch body shot. Um, uh, you know, I remember his fight back in April of 2022. I believe it was, I, I could be wrong, but I believe it was on, it was on the undercard of uh, Sean Porter. Uh, not Sean Porter. Um, uh, why am I saying Sean Porter? Uh, Shakur versus, was it Shakur versus Valdez? I'm not sure which undercard it was. But uh, in April of last year, he fought a fighter by the name of Alexis De Bosque, who was 18-5 and five at the time. Stopped him with a one-punch body shot. Um, you know, then you, then, then you, you go, you go higher up in his career. You know, he fought a guy that I'm very familiar with in Luis Chucho Melendez, who was calling, he was calling out Andres Cortez on this channel. Um, and Melendez also talked a big game before the fight and he, he beat him easily. I mean, I, I don't think Luis Melendez won around. round. Melendez is a good boxer, but you know, Cortez showed his class in the night. And then, you know, Xavier Martinez, very, very good fight from him, um, beating him. So, um, I, I, and, I, and I listen, I mentioned all that. I mentioned all those fighters without even mentioning the fact that he knocked out Genesis Cervania, uh, a guy that's been around the weight class for a while, been there with top guys, you know, dangerous, solid opponent. So this guy, consistent fighter, Good wins showed us a lot in, in, in his twenty pro fights. You know, from from from, you know, combination punching to body punching to durability to the ability to 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 handle adversity. Right. So now you look at him. Right. You look at Cortez. He's ranked number eleven on box track, but, but for some strange reason, um, in the boxing rankings, I don't really see him ranked anywhere. But I but I do think he is close to a title shot. I, I'm thinking, you know, it's very possible that maybe. Cortez winds up fighting the winner of Oscar Valdez versus Emmanuel Navarrete. And I'll tell you this, stylistically speaking, that's an amazing fight. That's a great fight. Uh, to see, to see, you know, that, that man right there against either like a, a Navarrete or Valdez, I think it'd be a great fight for boxing um, because of what Cortez brings to the table. You know, Cortez, like I said, he's got 
above average punching power. He's a he's uh you know an educated pressure fighter who can box, power box. I would say he's more of like a power boxer, front foot dominant fighter who can box. Um and I, I I could just I could foresee you know what if it's Valdez you know Valdez loves that left hook and Valdez is you know can can be the aggressive counter puncher so him and Cortez would be a great fight. Navarrete is a gunslinger who throws punches from all kinds of angles. We saw him get hurt against Liam Wilson earlier this year in their fight. So um, yeah, um, I haven't really had a chance to speak a lot about him, but I but I but I've obviously been paying attention. I've obviously know who he is, and um, I just wanted to make it known to you guys that Andres Cortez is a real player in the super featherweight division and you know i think top rank is going to give him a title shot uh, or, or, or a big fight real soon because he's looking good he's performing well he's beating good opposition and on top of that you know he was even doing some trash talking at that last at that last press conference when he was fighting and he managed to back it up and back it up in a major way so um yeah i'm a fan i'm a fan of Andres cortez and i'm looking forward to seeing what happens for him because you know with him only being 26 20 pro fights into his career, you know, less a uh, 98 rounds box. I, I think there's a lot of substance there, you know. A lot of fighters have to, there's a lot of fighters in boxing who got 20 fights, and their resumes oftentimes lack substance. His resume doesn't lack substance, so uh, I'm gonna leave it right there. I'll definitely be looking to see what goes on next. Andres Cortez, but consider this my first video specifically about him. We, we got him in the true school sports rotation now. So once you're once I make that first video about you and you're in the true school rotation, my, like I got, I got this thing about me where I just I'm good at keeping tabs, so I'll be keeping tabs on Andre Cortez, and um, you know, hopefully he gets his chance and his crack at glory uh, to, to show the world what he can do. Because I mean, look, even if he doesn't fight, if 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 uh, Cortez doesn't get a chance to fight the Valdez Navarrete winner, right now he's ranked number 11 on Box Rec at 130. So you look at some of the names ranked in and around him. You got guys like you know, um, you got uh, you know, uh, uh, Shaft Cat Rachmanov there at four. Uh, that'd be a hell of a fight. Uh, Joe Cordina, they want to make that fight with the Wallace Wizard. I think, you know, top rank and, 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 and match could come together and, and do a fight like that. That'd be a good fight. Uh, so there's options out there for him. Kenichi Ogawa, former world title challenger. You know, so th there's definitely fights out there for um, for Andres Cortez. And um, I like him a lot. And I, and, I, and I think he's one of the fighters in the top rank stable that hasn't necessarily gotten the fanfare or the shine. But when you look at his resume and what he's been able to do, you know, over the course of his so far, what, you know, seven year pro career, there's a lot to like. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to leave it at that. You guys let me know what you think. What, what are your thoughts on Andres Cortez? Who would you like to see that man fight uh, next? And, um, yeah, leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take your eyes. Thank you for watching another video on the Untouchable True School Sports Empire. We're here at the Hantanaka Boxing Gym in Nagoya, Japan. And uh, more great videos just like this one, make sure you guys click right here.